so in cloud security, we, we focus on um, what we call CIA, um, and CIA deals with um, three concepts. One is confidentiality, one is integrity, and one is availability or accessibility. And so from a confidentiality perspective in the cloud, um, there's several different things you look at from a, a data confidentiality perspective. You look to make sure that the data is protected wherever it sits at rest. So, um, you know, looking at um, different types of, of security methods as it relates to where the data sits on the disk. So when it's on the disk, is it encrypted? Um, you know, within the data that's encrypted, you know, who has the ability to, to gain access to encrypted data? Is it any system administrator or um, is there a further policy that says system administrators can access systems, but they can't necessarily access the data itself and then, and then be able to manipulate the data or change the data or do something with the data? So, um, so that's where we that's where we physically start, and then you look, you start to expand the scope there, and you say, great, it's 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 wonderful that we can make sure that the data at rest is encrypted, but let's now look across the wire, and as we move the data from the disk out to the outside world or out to our user community, do we encrypt it there, and what are the methods by which we encrypt, and and, and looking at everything from. Um, you know, simple VPNs and things like that, all the way through SSL-based encryption, all the way through the SAML tokens and, 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 and SAML exchanges and all those types of things, um, is really a thing that you want to really spend some time on when you're considering a cloud provider like Axtium. From that, uh, then we start to look at the perimeter, you know, the perimeter and really try to identify if there's any risk from a perimeter perspective. So this is a firewalls, intrusion detection and prevention devices and all those things. And so, you know, having the ability not only to have those things in place, but then have each customer have the ability to really look at that data um, on a consistent basis to see how is their personal data protected. So there's really some value there. Um, and, then, um, and then finally, I look at, you know, how the data is presented. And so if you're thinking about a simple presentation layer like a web server, um, you know, not only is the is the data available to customers who are allowed to gain access to it, but what happens to ensure that the data, while it's presentable in a certain way, um, is not open to attacks. And so, spending time with web accessibility and availability um, um, and application type firewalls is really important. So not only having a firewall at the perimeter, but actually having a firewall from a web perspective so that you don't introduce SQL injection attacks, cross-site scripting attacks, those types of things. Are things are really important to spend some time on, and you know, and again, cloud providers like XDM, you know, we we have all kind of types of uh, of security measures in place to ensure that you know um, that those security measures are being met by customers. So, from a confidentiality perspective, that's really where we like to spend some time, and that really ties in also to the integrity of the data, and so ensuring that as you're moving the data, that again, you know, I always focus, I always start with the system administrator, I always focus on the customer, is ensuring that. You know, when people have access to whether it's the full data set or a subset of the data set, that there's no ability for them to manipulate it um, unless they have the appropriate credentials to manipulate it and only manipulate it in a positive, um, normal usage way. And so, again, you know, we have systems in place that, that are set up to trigger alerts and alarms when, you know, whenever there's risk uh, related to integrity. And so we spend a lot of time really on the confidentiality side and then the related integrity side to ensure that, um, that you know, customer data is always, is always protected. And we spend a lot of time in the PCI world, which is the payment card industry, you know, standard for, for protecting data as well as the HIPAA world on the medical side to, to ensure that we ad adhere to those rules. And then the last piece, which is um, availability and accessibility. So, you know, that's, it's, it's one thing to have all these security measures in place, but if you don't have, if the system's not up while you're protecting the system and, and providing a safe work environment, then it's just as bad as if you were hacked, right? It's, there's no added advantage to, to protecting a system that's not online. And so, um, you know, building, you know, high availability systems and ensuring that you have servers that are all clustered together and you have storage that's highly available and redundant such that, you know, your virtual machine is never at risk, even if the physical server that that virtual machine is sitting on becomes compromised or at risk. You know, the self-healing nature of these clouds that XDM builds is really the value that, that you're looking for, that customers are looking for when they're trying to choose a, 
a, a provider like ourselves. And so, um, you know, really spending a lot of time making sure that all the networks are self-healing and highly available, the cloud technologies, the storage, the security is, uh, is something that's fun and something that we'd like to spend some time on. So in a future series, as we come back and talk, I'd like to you know, start to break down, okay, how do we really approach from a technical level those availability principles and then tying that back to, I get it to, um, to integrity as well as, um, as the uh, confidentiality piece is, uh, is something that, uh, that we'll start to enumerate.